<laughs> it's a picture of a lettuce with never give up. So, but there it's is pretty dank. No it's pretty waiting. Good. Oh, look at these drives wow, straight into it. Dragonshire grand final. So this is a best of five for it. And negative synergy. Oh, banning out that Li Ming. Banning out the trial for fresh. And Zagara first pick. Pretty interesting. Why do you think they picked that, Mike? Well, Zagara is pretty strong first pick. I mean, a lot of times we actually see Zagara being the first character banned. Yeah, Just, yeah. Just um, said it before, she has such a strong lane presence, pushing mm, mm. great 1v1, the vision she can put on the map. Um, it may not be as important on Dragonshire, the vision element, because the map itself is relatively small, and you can get a feel for what teams are doing and where they're going anyway. Uh, Negative Synergy picking up the Rhaegar. If you've been watching the stream all day or parts of it, you'll know Rhaegar is a monster of a support, a monster <laughs> of a healer. He is doing a lot of natural damage himself from his lightning shield going onto his going onto his team. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! That <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that definitely is. <laughs> but you know what's yeah, up. Yeah, I do. You know what's up. You've been on the internet a while. That's it. But uh, Zeratul. For Sassin, most like sorry, Sashin most likely. Yeah, and definitely. we've seen incredible Void Prisms today. Mm. Just fantastic zone control. And that's really been the story of negative synergy today. It's been all about yeah. taking the fights that they want to take. They control the game. Yeah. I mean, it's, most they definitely. go into it. They build a composition where they feel obviously confident. But they also go, how can we control the fights? How can we control the objectives? How can we control the mercenary camps? They're not concerned with having a great big... Giant wombo combo, let's kill, let's get five man team wipe and just utterly, you know, be flashing, you know. Yeah. They're more interested in how do we control the entire flow of the game. And they've been very patient as well. Yep. They've been extremely patient when they've taken fights. They've been like, this yep. fight's not for us, we're not gonna just blow our ultimate, we're just gonna wait all the time until we find the opportunity that best suits us. Yeah, they're not greedy. So Jaina and Greymane, one of your <laughs> favorite heroes, yeah. Greymane getting picked up. Both of my Jaina's my top and Greymane's my third, and they're both <laughs> great heroes. That's a lot of damage. A ban out the Uther, I think. Whoa, that's quite interesting because uh, Uther probably would have been a good pick for them, but I guess they didn't want to uh, give it up to Fresh as well. Well, they've obviously have a different plan because they would have been. Well, they've already. Oh, got sorry, the they support. got Rhaegar. Yeah, they've sorry. already got the support. And while Uther would have been nice with the Zero Tool, Fresh, they had the Greymane, and having the Uther combined with the Greymane. What? Stitches is hungry. Stitches is hungry. Oh, that's what we like to see. Yeah, Stitches fresh meat. Just wants to play. And actually, interesting following up Stitches with Faustad. Uh, just because there's, um, while Zeratul and Faustad themselves do a bit of damage, there's actually not a lot of. You know what would be cool big though? Burst damage. A big hook and then a push away for the rest of the team. Yeah. <laughs> I actually was thinking that. Like, you Does could that pull work? I wonder if that works. Positioning. No, yep. no, no. But I wonder oh, if the wow. animation, like whilst you're hooking yep. and you push, would it then push? It? I think it would like continue the animation but push away the rest, right? Oh, that's an interesting one. The I don't think I've ever seen you that. You would think that, but Murky's Octo Grab yep. does <laughs> interacts with Mighty Gust. And so while you think you could blow away the, uh, like, Mercy, Murky would be tied into yeah. it. Yeah. He actually does get blown away with it. So there's some interesting... Interesting. <laughs> so it cancels the yeah. ultimate as well. Well, I, I, I don't know how it's going to work in this app. Uh, Let us know in the chat if you know, because <laughs> these are the these are the, the serious questions. And we see an Abatha as a last pick. So uh, it's it's a risky... I think it's a risky play to try and do that with Stitches and Failstad. Just the timing needs to be so on par. But... I don't think that's their plan, but what... It is sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> it does sound good. What do you think's their plan going into this, Mike? Because it's a little bit of a, a strange mm. lineup for... Especially for negative synergy. Oh yeah, I'm just looking at what they've got. They've got Abatha and Faust. I'm thinking of the cloning target. If you do Abatha and who you want to clone, <laughs> uh, clone Stitches, double hook. Maybe na maybe double Faustad for the damage? Um, I think we're going to either see double damage on either Zero to or Faustad. I think yeah. they're much of a muchness, so you're going to get sort of the same effect. Yeah. Um, looking at... Maybe Abatha could possibly go for Evolve Monstrosity. I don't like the chances, but split pushing potential maybe, maybe on Dragonshire. Um, looking at Fresh, however, I mean Zagara, Greymane, Jaina, Malfurion, Johanna. That's actually a pretty good lineup. Actually, I really like that as a bit of a solid lineup. Uh, you're going to have Johanna go in, condemn, pull all the heroes together. Falstad, if he's on, sorry, not Falstad, uh, no, Furion. Oh, Furian, yeah. If he's on point, oh, yeah. That one. For the one roots. Of those heroes, yeah. <laughs> uh, roots holding them in place. And then you're going to have Jaina and Greymane. Both have their own AoE burst field damage. Mm. And that's, I'll 
someone will get low, someone will be weak, and then you can Grey Mane follow up and destroy them. You also have Zagara there to do zoning with them all, or possibly set that combination up as well. Yeah, it's a bit so of a strange lineup for negative synergy. Like, I don't know if it's mm. them trying to throw a curveball to Fresh, or yeah. maybe something that they haven't wanted to reveal so far. Yeah, and the, you know, even because they they removed Lee Ming from the field, they made that choice, and then they had the option to possibly take Jaina as well. Um, I think Jaina combined with Stitches would have been a potentially better choice than Falstad and Zeratul. But we look, we how did Native Synergy play their earlier games? They played the disengage, engage on our terms. Mm. They've got the Falstad, they've got the Zeratul, they've got the Mighty Gust, and they have the Void Prison. I mean, they they make the rules. They they make the rules of engagement, those two combinations. Yeah, I just feel like beforehand they had more of the tools with their Malfurion and their Zagara yeah. and they had their Void Prism for the Zeratul and they had complete control. Sorry, it was the Mosh Pit from ETC. Yeah. And they had so much control over what mm. they want to do, whereas this one it feels like there's not that much AoE control they over what they've got. They must have gone for, because ETC was banned, so it couldn't be picked up. So they've gone like, what's similar to ETC in a sense? And they've gone, we can take Stitches. Maybe instead of taking the um, Putrid Bile, they're looking at taking the ga the Gorge. Yeah, and actually okay. eating heroes, hook in, eat a hero, position them to a stage where they can all just wail in on them. And okay. Falstad and Zeratul is a lot of damage. I guess they might do that, actually, because then what they could do is they could eat the hero, push back others with a Mighty Gust, take a pick, and then take the objective yeah. as well. Because as we've seen... I really like Negative Synergy's playstyle, yeah. and they're very much objective-based, which is kind of a newer thing, yeah. because that's what Heroes of the Storm is pretty much about, you know? It's about objective control, and it's not yeah. so much about the hero kills, it's what a hero kill denies, which is map presence to contest objectives. Yeah, that's it. So we have a loaded into Dragonshire. Here we are, Negative Synergy versus Fresh, and for the Negative Synergy, the blue team, we have a Ninja on Zagara. Benjamin94 will be playing Greymane, a Robodo is on Johanna, Sashin is Jaina, and Daspertz is Malfurion. Yeah, now on the right hand side from Fresh Gaming, we've got Arcana on the Zeratul, we've got New on the Stitches, we've got Stevo on the Faust there, we've got Jim Jam on the Abatha, and we've got Eternal Nyx on the Rhaegar. Uh, it seems like it was actually flipped. <laughs> So a little bit with a Steve o No, 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 no. As in, like, the names on our thing beforehand were flipped because negative synergy is the, the Grey Man oh. and the Chainer and whatnot. Yeah, they are too. Okay. Oh, that makes a little bit more sense Because we were like, what? <laughs> yeah, what's okay, this, going ma here? this makes a lot more sense that Fresh has, <laughs> Fresh has got for a, a fairly... Slightly unique unorthodox, approach, which is working for them so far. Yeah, And okay. negative synergy are playing a little bit more of a okay, uh, this traditional makes sense. safer comp. Okay, I was just, uh, yeah, all good, all good. Uh, so it makes sense because now Ninja is on I, what I think he is the best hero at, which is his Zagara, which is yep. just a phenomenal playmaker, so much vision. I mean, have a look at the top of the map anyway. He's already got the vision. He's not going to be able to be ganked. Ninja on the Zagara, there's no way that he can be ganked without seeing it first. Yeah, that's it. And in that one-on-one -on -one top lane, he's just going to be so dominating. Faustad mm -hmm. can escape. If it gets bad, but uh, oh, Ninja! Kana. Actually, we're seeing Zeratul come to the top. Yeah, he knows. But yeah, that's right. Well, uh, so oh. I wanted to ask as well, Mike. Uh, why are all these Grey Mans going for the the Flask build? Why is it all about the Flask? All right. So right now, the Flask just does so much AOE damage. It's great at wave clearing. It's uh, poke potential damage. It's just it can once you spec into it, it's just so good, and it gives him that real great moment where we're great range poke. Which is oh wow, there's going to be a about. bit of damage here on Eternal Nyx, but now there's four down the bottom lane as well. Sashin getting body blocked quite well by Arcana, but here comes Johanna to blind them all, pushing them away. Oh, oh that hook oh. at the very tip! On the tip of that, he just hooks him in. I didn't even think that actually hit, but it did. And yeah. now it looks like Falstad's going to, oh, contest with Ninja as well. I don't think they'll be able to take it, no. Looks like Rhaegar is going to be down the bottom, and Ninja's in a little bit of trouble, but Stevo is not going to be able to capitalize on this mic. Yeah, he doesn't follow up, he just sort of wanted to. He's actually a little bit dangerous himself, a little bit low health, does back out of it. Getting low. And that's it, that grey main in the bottom lane there. Could be a little bit dangerous on Rhaegar. 
the Gilman Cocktails just does so much damage and it's just a safe way to play. It's why you see so many Grey Mains playing it. Mm. It's basically the big thing is it's safe and it's damaging. Yeah, that's definitely what he wants. Sashin's just hiding here. Oh, is he going to go for the boss? He gets a bit on Stevo. Ninja's going to get him down as well. Does actually trade out with Arcana. There is an orb as well that he can go for. Arcana's actually getting quite low here. But now there's the Abathur on top, and he manages to kill him with the Abathur. And they're going to take both objective stitches, moving to the middle now, Mike. Oh, Robert <gasps> Dover could actually finish him off. Finish he him. have a good AoE finish as well. Finish him. He knows he's there and Now somewhere. he knows where he is. Oh, great blink there from Arcana. Actually, I don't think he'd be able to do much because the heal is coming off from... Uh, from his regeneration, and he will just back away. What happened to that flask? Which one? He just threw a flask. It just disappeared. Oh, it didn't hit. So, ah. until you spec into it at level 7, uh, your flask doesn't always explode. It only explodes on hitting a what? target. <laughs> and you, you could have almost been kicking himself. <laughs> there. It seems like a little bit of a lax in uh, concentration. But uh, Olga returns to normal now, Mike. It, each one just... Uh, just relaxing. They have to really defend this mid lane, however, because we do see negative synergy have both shrines up at the moment, and they're doing a good job. So this is a, we've talked about this a little bit earlier, but this really, really highlights it now. Negative synergy aren't concerned about trying to push for this Dragon Knight because it's an early Dragon Knight. It's not that good. The longer they wait, the stronger it becomes. Yeah. So they just hit level seven as well. Again with the uh, the cocktail as well. Zagara going for a reset on abilities. Looks like more of that Condemn build and that heal again for Malfurion on the other side. Yeah. Looks like we're seeing the Mines build again. Yeah, like I said, they're all pretty standard builds coming out of everyone right now. There's nothing too surprising. Um, you know, there's nothing really too surprising. You're going to have Falstad doing his auto attack build with secret weapon, a lot of damage. Yeah, but they might actually be able to do a lot of damage on you here, and he's actually going to get the Dragon Knight being able to punt away as well. Looks like they're both pretty even on experience, but this will mm. let Benjamin94 wail on the towers a little bit, and this could give them the experience lead here, Mike. Yeah, they're definitely going to be able to get a little bit of work done. We saw Negative Synergy just control the Dragon Knight so well, and look at this. There's four members right now from Fresh having to deal with this. And we see the rest of the members just rotating down, either trying to set a little bit of trap, or just hitting oh. all the mines, all the Abathur mines. I want to walk over everything. <laughs> <laughs> but look at look at all that work that Negative Synergy managed to get down into this bottom lane earlier on. This happened because they weren't concerned about the Dragon Knight. They had both shrines, and they're like, you know what? We've got the advantage here in the bottom lane. Let's just push it, get these towers down. Now this early first Dragon Knight of the game is already hitting a fortification. Yeah, that's right. And here it looks like they want to disengage from this. They're still really well spread out from Fresh, pulling them back a little bit. Benjamin94, he will be able to run away from that. Some great roots there from Dasperse. Robert Over actually getting quite low here. Gets taken out, but that's the tank. And he did uh, kind of trade that out for almost a fortification. And it looks like Fresh has actually taken the experience layer here, Mike. Yeah, they actually did uh, play that little bit really well there. Um, Negative Synergy got some really good value out of that Dragon Knight, but Fresh securing that kill has really helped them to extend that lead mm. a little bit that they've, that they've developed. Uh, picking up the Siege Giants in the bottom lane, it's going to put a little bit of off pressure. Well, they could possibly Faustad actually positioning himself to pick up the uh, hard camp. And yeah, it's going to need some help. Yeah, no, he will die if he stays there <laughs> too long. Abatha and Rhaegar have joined the fray. So he should be pretty good. Yeah, he should be able to heal up oh, and stay in the final one. Using the healing totem, actually. That's a little bit of an interesting pick from uh, Rhaegar. Yeah. Actually, we just noticed that he's not going lightning shield build. And you know what? That kind of makes sense. There's no real good targets. Mm. So he's going very support heavy. Slow down, slow totem, into the healing totem. Into the cleanse, cleanse as well. Yeah, most definitely. So I didn't actually notice that originally with Rhaegar. Interesting build. It's almost as if Rhaegar was chosen as a deny pick more than anything else. Mm. Well, they did first pick it on the other side. So there we go. Mighty Gust going up. Uh, looks like we're going to see the Devouring more. Pretty standard. Trank as well. Everything looking more or less normal. But that is the uh, Putrid Bile, if I'm correct. Yeah, no, it is taking stitches. that. So we're not going to look at uh, any gorging going on. It is going to be just a uh, safe the extra damage, safe way to escape from team fights. Yeah. And, uh, it's really even, actually, at the moment. There's really not too much in either in either uh, team's favor at the moment. Yeah, no, Fresh is doing a really good job actually just to stay up. Oh, sashin has got to be careful. It looks like he's actually going to get picked. A fantastic prism there. He needs to actually run into it. There he goes, running into it. There's so much heals as well. Dasperts is going to get picked. There's no Zagara there, so it's just going to be a two for nothing at the moment. Robert is going to go down as well, and that's a three for nothing. And that's just as the Dragon Shine comes up now. Mike, oh, Benjamin94, he wants a bit... 
He wants some of that, but he's only going to get one. He's actually going to get away. It looks like he might be able to. It's so close. Doesn't look like the Stitcher's hook will be oh. enough to get there. He might... Uh, I don't know if he's... No, he doesn't look like he will be game enough to go for that there, Mike. Yeah, no, that was actually really cool there. It's, um, I was waiting for Stitcher to throw the hook, but see, Benjamin played that really well. He had to disengage. It was up a little bit earlier, mm. and he waited. He tried to see if he could get a bait, a hook out of Stitches, and once Stitches backed off, he felt pretty safe. Yeah. And just positioned himself. I've got to say, it. that was a really good pick from Benjamin94 to at least yeah. get something for yeah, it. And it really I mean, that helped. was a, quite a poor fight beforehand, but it did help level it back up together. Yeah, that's getting those kills, like that kill was just really, really helped negative synergy heaps. Yeah. There is a comeback mechanic in this game where if you're behind on levels, you get more experience for those situations. So here we go. A little bit of a push here. Some nice roots on you as well. He's probably not going to look for too much more than the tower, which he will get. Uh, still 25 seconds on yep. it, but only 18%. Zagara doing a good job. Soaking experience at the top. Doing a huge push at the mm. moment. Oh, it looks like only one lane. That's not too much. Looks like two for a second. But uh, <laughs> yeah, might actually get two of these towers, and that's pretty good value out of this Dragon Knight here, Mike. Yeah, and this is a, obviously a little bit of a new experience for Fresh. They actually got a Dragon Knight this time <laughs> around. Unlike the last game against yeah, Heater Synergy yeah, yeah. where they got none. So it must be a little bit of a nice feeling. And it's actually given them that tier talent as well. That one talent advantage, which is going to actually be really huge. Because they've got, picking up the giant killer coming out of uh, Balstad is going to be huge against Johanna. Actually, it's going to be huge against all the heroes on negative synergy, against negative synergy. I mean, like, they don't, they're not as high health. So, I mean, Giant Killer is good, especially against Johanna, but it's not going to have the same impact if, as if, say, yeah. they had, like, three bruises or one. Yeah, it's not, but it's still going to... It can still impact against the Oh, yeah, most health. definitely. Most definitely. Dasperts is actually quite far forward. Robodope is actually behind him in yeah, terms of the, the front tank line, so it's a little bit funny at the moment. I don't think I feel too scared that our Fresh is going to engage. Mm, and I think they should be scared because, yeah, they're all around there as well. Abath is up in the top lane, but he can always oh, jump in at any stage. For a oh, there's the hook on Ninja as well. Is he actually going to get the Devouring War? Doesn't look like he needs to. That's a great Void Prism on two of them. They're actually going to jump in because there's not that much punish from it. Oh, there goes the Future Bile on top of it. Is there going to be a more? We haven't seen one. A huge heal. A great Mighty Gust as well to push one away. Benjamin94, he's kind of side it off. <laughs> He's been clipped off to the side and now Dasperts is going to go down as well. It's a three for nothing and somehow, some way, Fresh is making this work here, Yeah, Mike. they're making this composition work really well. I mean, those Void Prison are just so on par, grabbing the targets they need to. We see uh, the Abatha coming in and he's actually he's actually cloning Zeratul and the double Zeratul is going around doing a lot of damage. It's very impactful in these team fights mm. and it's just, it is just tearing a negative synergy to shreds. So, do you think that negative synergy hits this point? At, do you think 16 will be a point for them where they become stronger, or do you think that it's all going to be downhill from here, Mike? If, if they're on equal par, I'd say negative synergy would be doing better yep. at level 16. Yep. But right now, there's just too much of a level difference that even when they do hit level 16... Well, I mean, they're on the same talent at the moment, at least. But when Fresh hits, when Fresh themselves hit level 16, yeah. it's not so much the talents they pick up that's going to be detrimental. It's actually the level difference and how much damage, just natural damage, they're going to be doing from the normal attacks. And so this is what we were talking about so much in Dragonshine. Yep. It's Dragonshire. It's a map of just snowballing, and it's yeah. a map of pressure. And when you've created that much pressure, you can't contest the objectives, which is exactly what we just saw then, mm. Mike. Yeah, that's it. There's just no way negative things can really do anything. Not with the level difference, not with the talent deficit they're currently sitting in. Uh, they're really going to have to... Uh, the right now, they, they've got to be looking for picks. Like, they've got to defend against this Dragon Knight. That's their first thing. After this, they've got to start looking for picks. Fresh gets can be quite spread out on the map at times, and they don't group up, so they've got to really look for those situations when they haven't grouped up. However, yeah. Fresh are setting little traps everywhere. They've got out of the mines. It's going to really be annoying for Negative Synergy trying to transgress the map, or try to move around the map. It's just going to really slow them down and give their position away. Yeah, I think Stitches has actually been quite instrumental in this game so far and how they've been playing it. Yeah, I that, um, definitely agree with that. I mean, hooking hooking those right characters and getting the kills. And even if you don't get the kill on them, we do see Negative Synergy rushing to support who's ever been hooked in. And you see another mine go off there for Zagara trying to chase the Dragon Knight. Yeah. But it will just naturally disappear. It won't actually be killed.
Ninja's actually had quite a hard game this game. He's just been hounded the entire time, but it looks like we're having a fight break out. Benjamin94 is trying to go on it. He does actually get stunned, but now the rest is... And there's the disengage and the future bar, and he gets hooked in again. Benjamin94, he's on his way out. Dasquets is forced to actually blow the ulti as well. Arcane is trying to get him down. A great void prism on two of them, just sectioning them off as well. There's a good ice block. Benjamin94 is just waiting to go back, and a huge blast got all of them. And then a great more on top. Sasha needs to drop his W on top of them. There's a great Roots as well, and he gets two for that. There's two going down, and now it's the comeback that neg Negative Synergy needs. It's a huge team fight for them there, Mike. That is impressive that they managed to actually get that done. If you actually looked at Rodo where he accidentally made a mistake and his blessed shield went in the wrong direction, but they still got so much done. Actually, Zagara being picked off then uh, bursted down, but they did manage to catch the mercenary camp as well. Yeah. That was, I mean, that is, that's how Negative Synergy is going to get back into this game. Yeah. Fights like that. I think really that came to Dasperts' roots yeah. there. It was the roots holding in so... Uh, Stitches couldn't really disengage. It yeah. was like a pretty decent uh, Mighty Gust beforehand, but m very much so it was all about that Roots, keeping yeah. those two players there so that they could actually be bursted down Lock as well. Lock them down so they can kill them, because they've too got true. the damage. They've got the burst damage needed to Synergy. They've just got to be able to capture someone and keep them around long enough to be able to play that. Yeah, that's right. And so that huge team fight there for Negative Synergy, bringing them back to just below one level behind uh, Fresh, and now, more than anything, it let them get some mercenary cams, and it let them get back into the game so that they're not playing from behind. You know, they're, they're creating the pressure now. If you have a look at the lanes as well, they get to make the decision of how they yeah. want to create those fights. Oh, they actually get the fall. Nice. Oh, exactly. Oh, the, the, siege, the siege giants and the mercenary, sorry, the minions doing a lot of work there. Is this a little bit of a trap being set here? I was wondering if they're actually going to use Malfurion as bait, but it's pretty obvious, yeah. I have to admit. Uh, now, looks like well, they've kept the shrine. That's actually going to give Fresh a lot of information. They don't know where Fresh is, mm. but Fresh now knows. Oh, now they know. It. <laughs> That's kind of a thing about the health globes. Actually, sometimes it gives it away. Yeah. Because <laughs> it goes in like, wait a sec. I almost think that maybe it shouldn't be visible to the enemy team. <laughs> no, seriously, because it actually gives away a lot of positioning with health mm. globes when you see it. Like, for your team, it's good to see who got it, but for the enemy team, it gives away a lot of information. Mm. Uh, we will see here. Could be a fight. He actually misses the hook, but Sashin's is getting pumped at the moment. Ninja wants to get a more on top. There's a great stasis. Mighty Gust pushes away, but it's more of a disengage before they want to go fight. They're going to kill the clone as well, so that just, like, takes out that. Dasperts blew his ult, but at the same stage, he kept everyone up, and now, suddenly, Negative Synergy actually have a bit of momentum behind them in order to push this out here, Mike. Yeah. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Jada hooked in, and she's not going to be able to escape from that. Oh, my goodness. Great heal as well. He's going to get the slash off. Well, that Roots is huge. But they're trying to get yeah. the, uh, oh wow, they're so slow. This is a huge fight now for Fresh, taking down another into two for nothing as well. Dasperts, he's getting quite low. Benjamin94 needs to get out of there, but he's going to go down as well. That was, a oh, he gets the hook. Come back over here. He wants another one. It's all new from here. It's going to be Fresh, Fresh Gaming. They're level 20. They're going to get this Dragon Knight. And suddenly, just as we thought, the tipping point was going towards negative synergy. It's all the Fresh train. From here, Mike. They were, they were getting back into this game, Negative Synergy, but Fresh have just almost put the final nail in the coffin. They are down. We have a free Dragon Knight on the map with four other team members still alive and kicking as well. They can just push so deep into this here. They are going to easily get that fortification there. Yep. And they could even sorry, keep, and they could possibly maybe do some more damage. See that? They've actually bypassed the second tower yep. straight onto it to ensure That's it right. falls. They won that keep down. So for any new players, Coming in, there are catapults that spawn. Once you kill that keep, very much a pushing mechanic, do a lot of AoE damage, and just stronger minions as well. So, looks like we've got a fight breaking out. Great roots on top. Robodoba getting trying pushed off as well as a cleanse as well. But Sasha needs to do a lot more damage from the back. And it looks like there's going to be an ice block, a nice push away from there. The Jim Jam's just going to get the clone, but another great hook as well. And it looks like they might even be able to go for the core here. Arcane is a little bit low on the Dragon Knight. Yep. Don't know if he'll be able to do enough damage, but there's level 20. He does get one, doesn't actually get the heal off as well. And now it's going to be 
Looks like Benjamin94 is going to get him, and Ameth is actually there! Ameth is right there, and he gets killed, and now it's suddenly the tipping point. It's a seesaw in the other direction. Fresh, what are they going to do here? Looks like New is just down the bottom, getting cornered off as well. Arcana wants a piece of Ninja, but Sashin's coming in to tell him what he wants. Oh. And Robin, oh, there's another hook as well. New's going to take down Ninja, and it's so close at the moment. Arcana with a fantastic blink away, <laughs> and it looks like it's an absolute bloodbath, ladies and gentlemen. There's only two alive for each of the teams. There, Mike. They have survived. Negative synergy hold on to this game. And it's uh but we see three <laughs> members down for each team. What am I watching that right a, now? It was a good this ball. Is like game of the Thrones yeah. right here, just a bloodbath. Everybody's dead. That's it. All your favorite characters have died <laughs> in this episode. Do you remember your favorite? Yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. Sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, but I mean it's even though fresh. Uh, it, that went bad for Fresh. It's not what they want the outcome to be. However, Negative Synergy is still on a bit of a back foot here. Yeah. Because they've got catapults spawning that bottom lane. It's just going to be so much harder for them now to really push out. Yeah. But we can see Johanna is going to pick up that mercenary camp, put a little bit more pressure. That was almost a tipping point for Negative Synergy, though. If they had gotten Arcana as well, it's it would have been a game changer. It would have been very huge, yeah. Every single mercenary camp, and suddenly all the lanes would have been blue, yep. and you would have seen every single lane pushing out, all ports destroyed as well. It would have been a ma yeah, a lot of a lot of map pressure, pressure that fresh really wouldn't be able to respond to. It's not quite how it trans transpired. No. Uh, Negative synergy is showing that even though they are on the back foot, however, they could possibly still get back into this game. Mm. Everything is fairly equalized now. Oh, Arcana actually gets spotted out there, and I think the biggest thing is now Negative synergy actually have level 20, because they're only level 18 yeah. when that fight broke out, and they still managed to make it. I think it was a little bit of, like, stayed a bit too long for Fresh. Yeah, Got definitely. a little bit too over eager. They were, like, wailing on the core and whatnot. Just wanted to end it as fast as possible. For good reason as well. I mean, neg Negative Synergy is a really good team. He's actually going to spot out Arcana as well. Very careful, that slow <laughs> from the totem is just incredible. And well, especially now, the talent into that slow yeah. on the totem as well. And here we go. Oh, it looks like he actually does get hooked as well. Dasper's blowing his ulti to try and get away from that. Jim Jam's going to come in with the uh, the Zeratul clone. Robidob is getting kind of low because they've all been split off from each other. Looks like Benjamin94 wants to come in from the bottom side. Who are they going to go for? It looks like they want to go for New, but that's not what they want. Arcana gets a massive Void Prism on some of them. Sashen keeps getting absolutely torn apart. Great ice. Looks like he's going to maxi manage out some fantastic devouring more. He's going to push on top. Arcane is getting blown up. Benjamin94 is still alive. He gets a great heal from Dasperts, and he's still going to survive as well. There's going to be a five. Robidobi got down to nothing, but he's still alive. They're all so low, but still alive. Only one kill so far for each of the teams there, Mike. <laughs> Oh wow, <laughs> that, that fight this game. just drew out so long. I mean, it's still a little bit of pressure saved here, but what's going to go on here? Oh, that Mighty Gust, fantastic stasis again. Oh, it looks like they're actually going to push them off now, Mike. Yeah, we'll see Zagara rotate straight oh, down to the bottom lane to grab Ninja. that shrine, yeah, to really remove that pressure from having to defend the mid lane. And then we should see the rest of the members start to rotate up. They're still 5v4, but it doesn't feel oh, that no, way. No, Zagara's oh, in a lot of wow. trouble here. Yeah. And now they've got to rush it. Johanna has gone up to the top to recapture that. Both teams have lost a hero now, so it's still a little bit equal in size. But if Jaina gets caught by a hook, Ooh, uh, it just—it really does feel like it's in uh, Fresh's ball, like in Fresh's yeah. court. The ball is in Fresh's court at the moment, and uh, it's really going to be up to Negative Synergy to make something happen. It looks like we got stitches here, and it looks like Rega might actually get picked off here by Dasperts, and Benjamin94 is actually going to get a pick as well. Robert over uses the ultimate on both of them. Mighty Gust pushes them against the wall, but that's not where they want to go. Sachet's coming down from the bottom. It looks like he might actually be able to get one of them, but. Looks like Steve O's Steve -O's gonna, gonna fall. go down. And now that's a two for one. Suddenly, just as I was saying that, this is a seesaw match at the moment, Mike. Oh wow, I mean negative synergy, they got a really strong chance to get back <gasps> here now. Like their their core is about to start being wailing on by um mercy by the sorry, core can minions. defend itself for yeah. a while though. It should be fine. There's no mercenary. There will be catapults I'm though. Worried catapults. About the middle though, because Dasperts, Dasperts, Dasperts. Grey main is coming up. We just see this Gillian cocktail go off. And there's no one to heal either new or Arcana, so they will have to back out from that. Greymane is strong enough that he could damage them both. And now, Negative Synergy look like they could get a Dragon Knight this time. Yeah, looks like it. At the moment, they should be able to get it, and they will. They have paid their dues. And this is a 22-minute, more or less, Dragon Knight. And this, Mike, is going to do a lot of damage. This hurts. Look at that. The Stitcher does his hook, and it only gets the Dragon Knight. Not quite the target he wanted. That's it. I mean, this is just going to do smash behind this. They still have one member down. Oh, Falstad, he will be no. back in five seconds. 
but Dragon Nate and Stingy. Nate and Stingy might have turned this game totally in their favor. They, they could still win third. from this. Yeah, they could. I mean, Sashin's still coming from the back. He's not all there. Ninja's going to need to get a more for his life right now because they actually don't have a player with it. It looks like there's only one in that stasis at the moment. That's not what they wanted. And he actually locked Jim Jam in there as well. Yeah. Sorry, buddy, you're coming with me. Benjamin94, he really wants that juicy targets of the keep, though, Mike. Oh, yeah, he definitely does. He's wanting to, All the team right now is wanting to take this out. Give going in. Keep. He's still at... Yo, he's still at 50% health. He's still got 35 seconds. This is a massive Dragon Knight. This and this is the one negative synergy need to get oh this game. Oh my goodness. This could be the game changer. This could be the match if they're not careful. A great Storm Shield absorbing a lot of damage. He's actually wailing on the core. I don't know if he's got enough damage, but Benjamin94 has got to be careful. Looks like he's going to go. They get the Rhaegar as well, but now Benjamin94 is out. And they're so low. I don't think they've got enough damage for this core. This could be a huge throw. It could be a massive throw from Negative Synergy. 60 second death time is for everyone and the course not even dead yet this could be the game changer mike oh no we're gonna see fresh here is gonna be able to rush down to their core and fresh should should win off the back of this just I can't strolling see. in to kill your base but they still have to get the entire way across the map Faustad flying oh, across is he gonna try and take out mercenaries he sorry minions he is just uh, position them, stopping I them hope from Jim advancing. Jam slaps down this core. Bad. That, it, it's yeah, there's no, there is no way. Oh, they just, they just, they, they jumped the gun. They did jump the gun for that one. They were looking at, they thought they might be able to push for it. They tried hard yeah. and they couldn't quite do it. They're not, they're out of this game, but they're not out of the grand final yet because they've no. still got it's one, one, one score. Right? That's because, it. Yeah, because of the upper bracket. Advantage. Advantage. So but that advantage has kind of been neutralized oh. now. Red team is it's, victorious. It's anybody's game now. It's back to a best of three. Yeah, that's we're, it. We're back to a best of three, ladies and Fresh gentlemen. Fresh really took it to negative scenes. Incredible just game. Like Incredible hugely. game right there. Fantastic. So Fresh Gaming, they almost... <laughs> that was so mm. back and forwards. And it was almost out of their hands. We almost <laughs> saw negative synergy take it. Twice. Twice negative synergy almost pushed the entire game back in their favor. And that last moment there, you see them, this is pretty good, but they just overextended at the worst time possible. They didn't, not that they didn't have the damage, but they couldn't follow up properly on the core because they were too busy trying to fight the enemies around, and it, they, they threw. Unfortunately, they threw in that last yeah. minute. Oh, well. But, I mean, it was a valiant effort. I mean, it was a great game, and that's only the first game of the Grand Finals. What's going to happen in the second and third game? I don't know. But we're going to take a very short break as we set mm. up this next match. So stay tuned. We're going to be back so shortly with basically game number three, but it's a reset best of three <laughs> for the grand finals. See you very See. soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're back for the ANZ Season 1 Heroes of the Storm Grand Final. And with me today is Disconcur, Mr. Mike. How are you going today? I am going. After that first game. Oh, it's like I was just saying before, you know, the last 30 seconds of that game took two years off my <laughs> life, and I'm not even playing the match. No, for those That's who didn't see, <laughs> Negative Synergy was so close to pushing down Fresh's core, but they didn't manage to do it, had a huge team wipe. Yep. And then Fresh turned it on its head and managed to yeah, close out the game. Yeah, a 22-minute Dragon Knight failed to destroy the core. And there's no time to talk about Inferno because we are off into the next draft on Infernal Shrine. That's right. This is my map, Inferno on Inferno. <laughs> That's right. So uh, Infernal Shrine, so it is a uh, loser's pick. So Negative Synergy has taken this. It's 1-1 at the moment for anyone tuning in because Negative Synergy came from the upper bracket and from the upper bracket finals. So... It's basically reset to a best of three at the moment. And Negative Synergy, they uh, they played pretty well, but i got to say, Fresh Gaming, incredible last game. They did a good job to get back into the game, but Fresh just kept... It. Whenever Negative Synergy got back in, Fresh just pounced on them and just pushed them back down. Yeah, so it looks like Zeratul banned, Abatha banned, Gleaming picked. Yep. Yeah, the Zeratul, the high priority ban on Zeratul is a little bit interesting. We've seen him use to great effect in this tournament, so it could just be responding to the competitive environment. Yeah. Abathur on this map can be very brutal. While yeah. people are flying over shrines, he can be pushing hard, you know, uh, pushing the lanes, body yeah. soaking, yeah. Yeah. get a lot of experience, so I Do can understand the ban there. We could see a Cho'Gal on this. It's interesting you say that. It's the, I believe in the, um, the Korean and China scene, Cho'Gal has popped up in competitive play. Yeah. And on Infernal Shrines as well, because he's such an opposing presence inside those objectives, collecting the skulls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would, pr I would probably say in the ANZ region, we don't really favor Cho'Gal in any way, <laughs> shape, mm, or form. No. But who's no like Fresh has been coming up uh, and playing some really interesting comp lineup now. Maybe they do have Cho'Gal in the mix. Who knows? But I would. I'd be surprised. I'd, honestly, I'd be really surprised if Cho'Gal did so. Uh, Falstad, Rhaegar. Uh, do you think Falstad here is just to uh, pretty much soak and then be able to fly down to a shrine? And it's also going back at net. Falstad's back on negative synergy side. Yep. And it's also that's the game they like to play. It's yeah, the yeah, true. Stage game. True. Uh, possibly with the corridors as well. <laughs> Stitches you might again. <laughs> Fresh has played an amazing Stitches. I've got so to say, it's been pretty incredible. I, he's not missed too many hooks, and the hooks that he have he has made have been instrumental. They're for always the impactful. They yeah, are very They're few times always. he grabbed the hook, and it just really hasn't had any big effect. I, d I haven't seen him like grab any tanks at all. No, it's been pretty good. One Dragon Knight pick on the. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that pulled that's across, but that's a big body. That's a big target, yeah. And there's a guy picked up from Fresh as well. Uh, Again, it's everything that's been good with Zagara is also good on this map as well. And the yeah. mole even more effective because you know heroes will be fighting around the objective and yeah. clumped up. Yeah. Big mole can grab them out. So we are onto the next set of bands. Negative Synergy looking, what will they remove yeah, from Fresh's lineup? because they're taking their sweet time with this. And this is quite strange. I think Negative Synergy might have just had the, uh, the wind blown out of their sails a little bit. Because beforehand... Mm. They were all, you know, gung-ho and yep. bravado, picking straight away, wasting mm. no time. I remember the first game, they're just like, boom, 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 done. Yeah. Okay, okay then. So, yeah, really utilizing that whole time pool. Mm. And I guess, I mean, this grand final, for those who don't know, it is $6,000 USD for second place and $8,000 in USD for first place. Mm. And more than anything flights to Korea to represent your region, the ANZ region, in the World Championship for Season 1. That's right. For Heroes of the Storm. So that's that's on both teams' mind right now. Not just the 8 grand for coming first, but also the chance to do what every athlete wants to do, represent their country. Yeah, most definitely. It's, it's be very, very special. So here we see <laughs> Thrall and Greymane. What's going through your head for this? They still don't have a tank. Why have they picked these two heroes? All right, so that's interesting that they got a little bit of a double melee lineup there. Greymane still has that great poke potential with the Gilman Cocktail, yep. so he's not going to get in Thrall's way too much until he needs to dive in and secure kills. Yeah. So it actually works really well on that lineup. Traditionally, you wouldn't see two melee of that description because you know they kind of you know interlock with each other and get stuck. Chen, what? Fresh, fresh is us with the Chen. Fresh is actually fresh. <laughs> they have some the fresh, fresh strats. strats. 
They have some fresh strats. I really like Uther if they pick him up here as well. Be able to cleanse and just divine shield to keep people in the fight as well. There's and more than anything, protect Lee Ming as well. There's a lot of talk about Chen recently. Just um, just a little bit of been pulling into um, competitive play in some okay. of the others, in some of the regions. And it's what's more going on right now, Mike? Well, what's it's going Boris on? Boris is pulling potential. It depends uh. who he's lined up against. He can soak through a lot of damage. But like, traditionally, if you said who would be a good counter to Zagara in the lane, I would say you talked about that just last yeah. night. You I'd say surprisingly, Chen has potential against Zagara in the lane. So a, a pick like that, however, I'm looking at Thrall, Greymane. Oh, Diablo, that's actually a little bit of a nice lineup to that. Diablo and Thrall just work so well together. The poking from Thrall, the poking from Greymane, actually. Yeah. And then Diablo to go in there and help secure a kill. A kill. Most definitely. Especially with that uh, a full up power secure as well. Kill, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you manage to get the uh, the wolf onto mm. the wolf stun onto yep. somebody, you can then just go towards them mm. and pick them up and be like, you go over there. But uh, what a bizarre lineup for fresh gaming. Everything in there is a pretty standard except for Chen. And the strange thing Stitches is. Stitches isn't that standard yet. Uh, he's, he's come into play a lot more. He. There's a bit of bit of a risk. Stitches got huge popularity, but then the, recently there was a potential issue with Stitches, yeah, yeah, yeah. which caused a lot of grief in tournaments, and he was basically auto banned from most events. Uh, they've discovered what that problem is, and they've resolved it for tournament play. So I think Stitches would be a much more considered meta pick if that bug wasn't in effect, okay, right? Because you would have seen him more in tournaments, yeah. but you couldn't take him, so you haven't seen him. But so Stitches, I'd say it's pretty standard. Chen. That's that is that is the not man a, of the hour. That is not a standard pick. That is not meta at all. It is fresh though. And it's a very it's fresh, fresh strats. And I'm just fresh trying. Strats. I'm just trying to think of his potential. So, where Chen really um, oh, it's hard to say the power of Chen because it's, not, it's, <laughs> it's funny. It's funny that Chen can soak a lot of damage because he can do, uh, drink his brew and get the shield. That's the big thing behind Chen is that he can take the damage, soak the Maybe damage. Maybe they're kiwis. Because they'll be like, e bro. <laughs> possibly, <laughs> possibly. But that's and and that's why he can be so powerful on that one-on-one mm. -on -one situation because he can just get the shield and absorb the damage. But from a bruiser perspective, which is why I assume Chen's more taken on, because you can defeat Chen by not attacking him. Don't don't attack Chen. You've defeated Tank Chen. Yeah. You know, he's he's really not going to do much. Maybe a bit of body do blocking. Do you think this is more going to be like a flying kick, Chen? Um, definitely. I definitely see. We're, got, we're definitely going to see that. The build more uh, focuses around not so much every talent going the flying kick, but the crucial talent going the flying kick. Do you think we'll see a touch of honey for it to increase that slow? Yes. Okay. Yep, I definitely think we will see that just to slow down when he does do his um, So do you think break. it'll be more like possibly like a stitch hook into a... S but then why would you get a slow if you couldn't just have a stun instead? Uh, well, they've already got the stun from the Uther pick. Okay. That's... The only thing I can think of is that when Greymane disengages or Thrall survives and gets away, they're looking at Chen to fly kick follow up. Because fly kick, you go through the opponent and end up on the other side of them. So there is potential for body blocking in that regard. But uh, there's other heroes that do that better. I mean, they like banned Durian. out Sonya. They removed Sonya. That could have been Sonya, not Chen. <laughs> it could have been Sonya. But then why not something like Muradin as well? If you yeah. want to go for like Peel instead. Well, in the day, that's another question. Like, there's better heroes to do that sort of peeling and body blocking. So I don't think that's why they're taking Chen. It's it, that's why you don't take Chen. It's just better heroes. They to do have what? fresh strats. Yeah. There's fresh strats. But there's fresh strats. <laughs> fresh strats. <laughs> it's I say that. Yeah, fresh. It's fresh strats. Fresh it's strats. Fresh, fresh strats. strats for everybody. Um, but no, it's just a, it's it's a little bit of a surprising pick. Like I said, I have I have seen a little bit in competitive play, looking more um, you know. Looking at the European region, they definitely Chen's crept in there. Having said that, Chen's never won either. <laughs> Chen should probably fix. creep all the way back out. Yeah, to that's be it. But hey, who knows? Like we saw Fresh take up a really interesting uh, set of heroes last game, and actually really took it to negative synergy and pushed them over the edge, and then won the game. They did. So, you know, it's I'm not going to say they've done wrong because. They're it equaled. Won, yeah. They've Alrighty. equaled out with the uh, negative synergy. Well, here on the left-hand side, it's negative synergy with a much more standard lineup. We've got Session on the Grey Man. We've got Ninja on that nice-looking Fall Stab. We've got Robodoba on that there. Diablo Daskwirtz playing the Rhaegar and Benjamin 94 on the Prowl.
All right, and on the red side of the map, we have Team Fresh, where we got Steve playing Zagara, Aturna Nix on, was that Uther? And we got new on stitches, Arcana is the Chen, the man of the hour, and, and uh, a Jim Jam Is that will the War Master skin for him, or the Master one? No, I believe that is the Master one. Oh, no, it's War Master. Yeah. Because he's got the stabby staff. That's it. So, looks like he's... Oh, no, that is the Master skin, sorry. Okay, so at least he's, we know that he's played it a lot, but... He's clocked up some hours on it. Wow, very interesting. Both Stitches and uh, Chen going for that uh, that region. So looking to really... And Uther going mm. for the mana as well. So it looks like it's all about the sustain for this here, Mike. Yeah, I mean, the Uther pick into the uh, regeneration is <laughs> not too surprising. Uh, the Stitches one is interesting because... I would have... Is that the regeneration master? Yeah. So I would assume he would have gone the... Um, oh, I can't remember off the top of the head now. The one where... The regeneration where when you attack, when you pick up a health globe, you get access to more health. But he could be looking at this going, well, we may not be laning as much because we'll be flying around the objectives, setting up traps. So he might be looking at going, I'm not going to be able to pick up those orbs. But that ties into regeneration anyway. Yeah, yeah. So it's an interesting pick he's we'll taking. We'll see. Me. We'll see for this. Looks like just roaming around a little bit from negative synergy. Why do you think they're doing this at this, this stage, Mike? All right, I think they're just trying to get some ganks off. They do have Diablo. They have the double war. Or they have the double with melee assassin. They're just trying to get some early picks. See if they can get a bit of team lead. They might be looking at that Chen pick, going, maybe we can punish them by rotating down onto them. Well, here we go. But First this shrine's going to activate. Looks like we do actually have a pause, just for one second All right. here. That pause is coming out of the player Arcana, and you can see his Chen in the bottom lane. He did back off. So it looks like he may have uh, walked away because he's experiencing a little bit of lag. <laughs> just walked away. <laughs> just walked away. I'm done. I don't, well, I don't need this. I don't need this right now. That's, well, that's, that's another thing with Chen. Like he doesn't really have very good uh, escapes either. So <laughs> I'm. Uh, it's he's such an amazing, uh, an amazing pick at this stage of the tournament. Like this is this, this is, is the, the grand, grand finals, finals. <laughs> and they just leveled it up one one. Yeah. So it's now effectively a best of three. Yeah. So the best of three that will determine <laughs> whether or not you get two thousand extra dollars, and more than anything, the chance to represent your nation yeah. overseas, and flights to Korea, and you're like, we're gonna put it on Chen's shoulders. Let's, let's play Chen. Like it, you know, so it is obviously it is still best of five. So if Fresh does win, or even if they steel. lost, yeah, if they if they did lose here, they haven't lost the grand final. No, but it's it's you know, the only way the situation could be so much more dire for them. If this literally was their last game, if they lost this game, they would lose a grand final and they would put it on Chen's shoulders. Now, that's not what's happened, but picking... I, I'm, I think this entire game is going to be Chen. Really, is that still Chen? Maybe Chen will just be a barrel of laughs. Maybe they've made a mistake and the game needs to be remade. I don't know. I just... <laughs> I don't, I don't think they get that. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I, I, my brain shut down for 30 yeah. seconds, and I picked it, and I we were okay it. with this. And then this. we chose it, and, and then we got into Inferno And then I picked the talent, and I was like, this is not what I asked for. Yeah, I yeah. never asked for this. And then I realized, oh, wait a second. This is Chen. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, what, do you, what do you think about this game in terms of how are they going to execute their strategy for Fresh? All right. So I'm just looking at... <laughs> Besides a lack of strategy. <laughs> well, there's definitely strategy in it. Of course. The chin. They've got of an course. idea going into it. And the rest of the lineup is actually quite solid. Mm. So I can just see Chen filling that bruiser role. He's going to be looking at going into that back line, disrupting it, really being really annoying against the grey main, trying to stop grey main from engaging in, yep. which flying, that might be a bit of a purpose with the flying kick. He can run into the fight. He's a bruiser. So yeah. he's you know, got a little bit of health himself, a little bit tanky. He can go up against the Grey Main. The Grey Main pokes, tries to dive in on another hero. He can follow up. That's a very big different thing between Chen and a lot of other bruisers. Is Sonya can't chase or follow up as well through minion waves, through other enemies and heroes. Okay. With Chen's fly kick, it's not a skill shot. You click, you go there. It happens. So it's potential to use Chen in that way. I'm not sure if that's the aim or if that's what they're planning, but that's one thing they could do. Um, it would be annoying against Thrall as well. Chen's uh, it's no good character to stick to enemies because of the flying But what about off. because they've got like four melee yep. heroes, mm. why the Chen then? Because it feels like they picked it after they'd already picked, I yep. think, three of their melee. Yeah. So why Chen when you've seen three melee already? Because you'd mm. think that flying kick is generally something to get 
to the back line to yeah. harass heroes like Jaina or yeah. a Zagara or any kind mm. of like squishier back line. Mm. Why? Why would they do that? The then? only thing I can assume is that, like I said, Flying Kick does allow you to go through the opponent and end up on the other side of them. There's potential that they can use that for blocking. Okay. They, the enemies go in, they dive onto the other side, he can then drop down his, you know, start his brew, go into the uh, talent that allows you to do an AoE shield around you as well. I mean, it's just that's the only assumptions I can take away from that. Mm. Um, looking at towns wise, they may possibly go barrel roll to push back the melee when they dive in as well. That would be pretty hilarious. It's it's what I've got in the back of my head. You know, normally, you'd see Chen From the shrine. I hate saying the, the, the phrase, shrine. you would normally see Chen's. You will normally would not see Chen. <laughs> <laughs> but when you do, you'd normally see them take um, the Panda Bros. The Panda Bros, heroic. can't quite remember the names. like Earth, Water, Fire or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Storm, Fire. Yeah, Call of the Elements. And they break into the three, pan the three different pandas. Normally, you'd take that with Chen for a bit more survivability. Obviously, you're about to die, you pop that, they have to take care of those pandas, and then he pops back into his stand form, can brew up straight away, yep. or run away, try and disengage. Yeah, yep. So, that's what you'd see a lot of. But Wandering Keg has the potential to push, sorry, Wandering Barrow has the potential to push back the enemy, knock them out of the way, they go in, they try and make a big play, you pop the barrel, knock them all around, knock them away, take that one core DPS, and just keep barrel rolling him literally out maybe around the objectives barrel roll around the objective who's uh who's negative synergies one backliner again I'm trying to remember the, exactly their lineup because i mean they've got thrall <laughs> they've got they've got thrall they've got Greyman, the two playmakers and then they've also got well here we go we're gonna find oh, out going right now sounds like we've got the game back sounds back in, in. we're back ladies and gentlemen ah uh, they've got that false stat as well that's it so that that's like some pretty good harass on that. I mean, Mighty Gust, who are you pushing away really? Yeah, I don't think Chen's really been taken for uh, Falstad. Um, I d it's, it's just an interesting pick, and I'll be interested to see how he, how he approaches this Ooh, shrine. Yeah, Negative Synergy want to make this happen now. Might see, yeah, there goes the W from uh, Jim Jam. Lindning's not quite as good on this because you can't poke through it as much yeah. as a lot of little skeleton demons in the way there. Do see that it's already 19 out of 40 for them. Looks like Arcane is going to be in there with his notorious Chen right now. Nice yeah. there. Nice uh, Gilnean cocktail there as well. 26 at the moment there, Mike. What do you think this is going to go for? Like right now, negative synergy is just... Oh, actually, the hook goes in the sash, and, and the does, team does rotate down to help oh, him. Oh, great overpower there as well. News getting pushed away. There's a lot of damage going out at the moment. Despers backs off, and they all back off. It's still 32. It actually looks like Ninja wants all of it. He's 36. It's almost 37 out of 40. Yeah, that and was now they're going to push in as well. They're running down from the bottom side as well. They're so close. There we go. There's the Punisher as well. Looks like it's a frozen one, so he's going to stop... Punch, punch, punching them down. Sashin's going to get that cocktail. Actually manages to get all of them as well. And Dasper's still harassing at the moment there, Mike. Yeah, wow, that was a bit explosive there. Nin uh, sorry, uh, Falsad coming down, just doing such a great job. Punish, getting, a punch. Yeah, grabbing all those uh, skulls while uh, the rest of Fresh tried to follow up on Negative Synergy. Uh, they were down one body. Negative Synergy lost no one, and they still picked up their Punisher. Yep. Uh, it's an early Punisher, so yeah. you, know, you can see it's already much. fallen now. Yes. But they still cleared the bottom set of towers. Yeah, and now they can take the uh, the siege camp as well. Yep. Okay, so yeah, they can they can now take this siege camp as well, create pressure on the map. And it was like what we've t been talking about a lot in this game and other games as well, Mike. Mm. It's all about creating that pressure, forcing the opponent back so they can't actually contest objectives. And then they've got to think about it, like, with this pressure on the map, they've got to respond to it. You have to clean it up. You can't just leave it, because it is going to remove towers, remove fortifications from the game. So they don't want to leave it there. You no. have to respond. While they're responding to that, your team is free to Ooh, execute Looks like plans. we've got a bit of an engagement right here. Benjamin94 getting popped a little bit. Sashing down from the top-hand side as well. They want to get Arcana, but he's just doing so much damage. Looks like they're actually going to get the Mercs. It looks like they'll push them off for now. A nice ult there. I'm sorry, a nice W there from Lee Ming. Chipping down Sashin a little bit, but it looks like they were able to get the Mercs there, Mike. Yeah, that was actually really nice deal there. Let them do all the work and <laughs> take it to themselves. And that's gonna, like, they're just going to push there. And it's going to be taken actually pretty fast because most members from Fresh are here. Yeah. But behind this, we can see Negative Synergy rotate to the mid lane yeah. and start clearing that. Maybe get a cheeky push or go up and do their own cheeky. mercenary camps, which is what they're going to do. They get the hard camp on their side. Yeah. And then Fresh is going to have to rotate up. 
maybe respond to that, maybe they go and get their own to try and neutralize it. Behind all that, Negative Synergy can maybe go to the mid lane, do a bit of pushing, go up the top, try and gank someone. Zagar has left her lane to come help with these uh, set of mercenaries, which is going to give a lot more soak to uh, Negative Synergy. Look at that though. Chen seems to have gone for not the deadly kick build that we thought he might be going for. It just seems like a kind of standard tank for it. So yep. it seems like stay in as long as possible, probably buy time for Li Ming so that she yeah. can keep doing damage for it. They've just looked at two big heavy front liners. Again, you could possibly take a Muradin for that, however. I think there's a play with the uh There's a play here. here. Yeah. Ooh, oh, doesn't yeah. actually manage to get that. And they do activate the shrine as well. It looks like it's going to be an infernal shrine for that one. Robodoba trying to knock down as many of these little uh, demons as possible. But it's all just a, a game of just chipping away. A lot of poke at the moment. Sashin just soaking as well. And it's almost level 9 for negative synergy, so they should hit level 10 before Mike. Yeah, and that's going to be really dangerous for Fresh, trying to go in against negative synergy when they're level 10. However, it's going to work out a little bit for this. They're not going to be able to hit level 10 while fighting on this objective. So Fresh are a little bit safe in that regard. See the Chen coming there, doing the fire Oh, breath. he actually oh. does manage to get death spurts as well, but this is like such a weird angle for both players. And, sorry, both teams at the moment not able to actually engage like they would like to. But it seems like Negative Synergy is actually taking the lead here. 37 out of 40 at the moment, and they're going to push off, and they're going to actually get this uh, Mortar Punisher here, Mike. Yeah, that's, a, that's the second Mortar Punisher now we see Negative Synergy picking up here, and it's going to even get just stronger from here on out. They're going to get... Actually, they could actually get level 10 from this. Yeah, Break down the looks towers. like they might. And that's going to be a huge engagement as well, should they choose to do that there, Mike. Well, they're going to smash down these towers. They could possibly run in there with their level 10 heroic. The Punisher is tanking all the can fire there at the go, moment. Mighty Gust as well to set it up if they want. They could go behind them and set it up. It doesn't look like they're going to use it straight away. Oh, it looks oh, like he's actually going to win power over the top. It's going to try and do so much damage. There's the lightning breath as well. Ninja just blowing him up. But now Arcane is trying to do a lot of damage on the Chen. But it doesn't look like he'll be able to do enough against the Ninja. They're going to get the fort. they got a pick. And that's all that she wrote. That is beautiful. That's what Negative Synergy wanted to do. The walls fell. The level 10s appeared. And then the Punisher went, hey, I'll give you a hand. And, uh, <laughs> just uh, Punisher them a little punch. bit. Punisher so smash. good. And I just love the Punisher just helps you set up so much stuff. You, know, you look at uh, Negative Synergy, what do they have really in the way of a stun? Yet yeah. they've got lots of snares, but nothing in the way of a stun, really. And the Punisher just set it up for them. Like, That's <laughs> right, bros, I got this for you. Alley oop. That's right. So, so anybody who's just joining us here, welcome to the ANZ Grand Finals for Season 1. It is tied 1-1 one, one apiece, so effectively a best of three now. The winner takes $8,000 USD and gets a trip to Korea to compete in and the, the uh, world stage on the championship season one world championship in That's Korea. It. All right, there we go. The Panda Bros have been picked up by Chen. He took a, it took a while for Chen to decide where his <laughs> little Tim Horak was going to be. Yeah, I mean, and then uh, Stitches, he's not gone for that gorge. He's gone for the uh, the Bile instead. Yep. So uh, I guess maybe setting up with something like a more and then like a lot of combos behind it. It mm. seems like they're going for more of that Wombo. Yeah, definitely. At them and maybe the DR Panda Bros, it just creates a lot of um, confusion and body blocking and, sing and you know, breaking up the enemy team when it's going to get popped going into it. Like the Chenzo is a very, very wild pick here for Fresh. And, and it doesn't synergy. seem like it's been paying off though. No, Negative this Synergy stage. has been sort of punishing him for not really having that uh, strong hero, strong presence in the, in the fight so far. <laughs> Pun intended. But here we go. This is now the third Punisher, and this is where it starts to actually get really serious. The third Punisher, it's kind of the, the benchmark of, okay, it actually starts to do a lot of damage, and if you don't deal with it effectively, it starts to really fall behind. Yeah, that's it. And, and this, this is one. Arcane. It's one that's one. Arcane. It is oh. the best Punisher. And if Negative Synergy wins this one, it's going to do massive damage against Looks Fresh. Like they might try and soak, though, here, Mike. Well, they're, they're playing it. They've got the level advantage, and they're about to have talent advantage. That's what they're trying to hit for before going to the fight. You do have to get 20, sorry, 40 skulls, so it's a lot to have to pick up. And they know... Oh, oh manages dialogue. to get Robo Doba. That's not really the target he wants, but they're going to go on him anyway. Manages to get a disengage. Actually gets uh, pushed down quite low. We'll be able to tap, get all of his health back more or less. 
And they're so close to level 13. And once we see that level 13, this could be the trigger that they need. Oh, they could get a mighty gust, but Ninja doesn't actually manage to get it off. He actually gets hooked in and actually exploded by Lee Ming there. Jim Jam's just doing so much. Here comes a Wombo Combo. He's already got two inside of Benjamin 94. It's going to get knocked down. Sasha gets knocked down as well. It's a huge team fight. There's already three down. Coming for as well as Press against the Helop. But they're just pushing so much. Fresh, the Seesaw's tip. It's now in their favor. And Fresh get another kill as well. It's a four for nothing at the moment here, Mike. Oh, wow. That was so, so amazing for Fresh just then. Getting four heroes for free. Going to get an Arcane Punisher in the top lane. The timers are pretty small, so we are going to see those heroes come back into effect pretty fast. But the that Arcane was Punisher. That's the what they really Arcane. Wanted. That's it. They nerfed it, and it's still amazing. Well. It's, it's, I, I can't believe that fight. It's just well, they're going to go back in again because of those low timers. It's actually going to empower, blow up new as well. So now it's going to be a four v five, going back in as well. So this might not actually oh, be all, all over yeah. just yet. And here comes Rager as well. He's going to be flying all the way back as well. Looks like Sashin's trying to do a lot of damage. It's actually twenty six out of forty. It's thirty two out of forty. Ladies and gentlemen, we might actually see Negative Synergy take this out and they're going to get the Arcane Punisher despite such a tremendous team fight from Fresh here, Mike. That, what is that? <laughs> that what is, is, what is you don't lose three heroes and the other team already have about ten four, skulls. Four heroes. Four heroes and then come back and go, you know what, yeah, we still have the Punisher, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll That's take that, thank you very much. And I think that was just a really poor decision making by Fresh there. They did spread themselves out to try and go and capture and do other things in the lane. Mm. Lee Ming did a lot of clearing, but because she was gone, because they didn't have that follow-up uh, damage in the top Here lane. comes Ninja. Oh, great. <laughs> I guess he thought possibly that uh, they might be doing that, but now he's in a little bit of trouble. He actually used his teleport oh, already, yeah. and he might get knocked down. Yeah. He's going to the fort. How does he actually escape from here? I don't know, because uh, it's like Ninja can actually... He's trying to get away. Oh, he might have no, actually juked no, him. Is he going to juke him? Is he going to juke him? Oh! oh! <laughs> Doesn't actually manage to juke him. <laughs> Whoa! It's... So he knew he had the move where he was going to get spotted. Yeah. And that was such... I think it was the best sort of play, the best thing he could try and do. Uh, it was best... <laughs> Trade the uh, best Create try, the but best. worse, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Create the best out of a bad situation. Yeah, but unfortunately, yeah. his best wasn't enough at that stage. And now it actually gives a lot of map control here for negative synergy. Looks like they're taking camps here, Mike. I still can't believe they got that Punisher in the top lane. Like, I know That's you right. can We're come gonna back, yeah. We're going to move on. We're going to move on now. First it was on. the Chen. First it was the Chen. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many trust issues right now yeah. with Fresh Gaming. Oh, They may have the freshest strats, but they don't seem to be working. They're just not matured enough. Not yet. Just because it's fresh produce doesn't mean it tastes nice. That's true. That's true. Oh, Negative Synergy is going to take down this bottom fortification now. And they are... They are they, you can see Negative Synergy have started to push out their lead now. Most they definitely. got their level 16 talents. It's going to be very detrimental in the next set of fights. Just grabbing mercenaries, putting him in more pressure in this bottom lane. While that's going on, Foulstat's rotating up top by himself to clear out those mercenaries, clear out those minions there. And then if he can, he can fly into the rest of the team to help with any sort of team engagement that come down. Because look at that, Fresh is actually congregated all in the same location on the map. Yep. No one has They did hit yet. their 16 now though. So there yeah, we go, picking up those 16s for everybody. There's a lot of utility on that. Uther really playing the utility play. He's got the mm. shield, the cleanse, uh, the divine shield, the shrink as yep. well. It's just all utility for him. I saw looking at their lineup, you know, Negative Synergy, you know, they've got the Thrall, they've got the Grey Mane, Dive In, Shrink. Does a pretty good job to remove that person from the fight temporarily. Yeah. There's a W out there, just doing a little bit of damage on Diablo. Mm. More than anything, scouting him out. But it's level 17 to 16, so there's not too much of a difference. And this could be the game changer here, Mike. Oh, that hook knew, knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to get a hook and make this fight a little bit more favorable for Fresh. Failed to hook <laughs> anyone. <laughs> By Banelings. <laughs> Uh, that's it. Now, they're really just waiting for each team, just waiting for each other to make their play, make their move. And Negative Synergy feels confident going in and getting the skulls. Or racing on eight. They do back out because it's a bad situation to fight inside that little circle. A lot of room for Aerid Dasper's taking a lot of damage. And now we just. just fresh, just looking oh, for an wow, opportunity he's to get in there. Pop the Panda Bros early as well. Yeah. Looks like they want to just try and zone them off the point. Does manage to get one of them down. Does do a little bit Second more damage. There's only one left for Arcana as well. Gets the uh, the uh, hook. Oh, actually only gets the more under one of them. And now Steve is going to get blown up with a great Divine Shield as well. Lee Ming's in the back, but Greyman's on top of him as well. He's so low, but he gets a great heal from it over 
just is going to cancel that <laughs> as well. And now suddenly it looks like it's all oh! <laughs> oh, the, the little minion so getting in the way close. there. But oh. this is the fourth consecutive punish of a negative synergy. And suddenly the power of these punishes, it's just a sub 15 minute one. And this is going to do so much damage here, Disconcur. It's, I mean, it's, it's just showing you the way the punishes have been getting more powerful is how negative synergy has been acting in this game. It's every time, little bit by little bit, they've just been getting stronger and stronger, getting ahead, getting an advantage. And that's where we are right now. Big Here jump by the Punisher just to disrupt them all. I mean, that play just then was fantastic by Negative Synergy. The Li Ming tried to do a lot of damage, and Greymane just jumped on her before and just stopped her in a track. Oh, Ooh, well, this Robodori should be pretty fine. Should be able to walk out there. There's really no one from Fresh. Well, they just don't have up. a lot of stuns. Like, that's what I was What's talking Uther? about before. Oh, yeah, except for Uther. And when you've got Uther as your main. Oh, Ninja actually just does manage away to get away. <laughs> but when you've only got one. Um, one stun, like, do you use it as peel or do you use it as initiate? Yeah. And generally, as Uther, you want to be using it as peel mm. from one of your, uh, oh, your this assassins. Is a like, bit but this could be Shinji. a big play here. Arcana jumping in on Robodoba. We've also got New from the backside as well. A great heal as well, healing him up all the way to full. Putrid Bile. They looks like they're just going to take the uh, siege camp at the moment. Oh, so close. <laughs> Splits the wicket with that hook there. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that was a little bit dangerous for Negative Shinji. I don't know why they decide to, uh, to do that when they knew Fresh was just so close behind them. Mm. Um, they didn't know if they were following, they didn't know where they were. So that was a pretty risky play, play, and you can see it hasn't quite gone their way. No one died, thank God, but they had to deal with merc uh, mercenaries. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. But that said, they're still 18 to 17 at the moment. They're still a bit ahead. Uh, looks like he's going to pop the Panda Bros as well. Dasbert's a little bit towards that front line. <laughs> he's got to be careful that he doesn't get hooked, because New is actually just... He's got really good positioning on that stitch. Yeah, yeah. Just going back a little bit and then trying to hook at full length. Yeah, that's it. And you see, it's all sort of that plan with the Chen. The ch stitch steps back, does a hook in, and Chen tries to do some sort of form of body blocking. Yeah. And I think that's definitely why the Panda Bros had been taken. And it's a pretty standard pick for Chen. And we do see him in play as well. That's right. And it uh, looks like Negative Synergy is starting to get those mercenary camps as well, creating pressure on the map. They want to make sure that they hit level 20 before. But there we go. The next shrine, it's going to be at the top there, Disconfer. Yeah, and we're going to see who picks this up. So Negative Synergy has been doing a really good job. And in fact, picking up this mercenary camp is really going to have to spread fresh thin a little bit. They have to choose if they're going to deal with it. Foul's dad picking up Sounds the Sounds like an advertisement. Yeah, <laughs> spread fresh thin. <laughs> Well, Fresh doesn't want to be uh, spread in any way, shape, or form at the no, moment. No. And look at that, Fowl's head down the bottom, but he can fly up to participate in that shrine once he picks up that Merc camp. So much pressure on the map, and Fresh can't do anything about it unless they want to give up this shrine. Yeah. I, I guess, like, negative synergy, the plan... Oh, is not to get hooked, but he actually does get hooked. A great stun there as an initiate, a second stun, but he actually just used his cooldown to reset his yep. basic cooldowns as well. Does actually get him with that arcane orb there, but... Negative Synergy have done what they want to do, which is yeah. buy time so that the rest of their lanes can start pushing yeah, out their it. mic. Yeah, that's Negative Synergy don't really, like, they care about their Punisher, but they're not too fussed at the moment. They just want their bottom and mid lanes to get pushed out yep. tremendously. Oh, oh, oh Raven's going to get hit, and there's so much damage. But then there's a great Sunder on the back. Benjamin 94 going in the back, blowing up Zero. There goes the Turtle Nix as well. He's going to get absolutely destroyed. The Panda Bros aren't doing nothing. Jim Jam's got to run, and he's not able to do any damage. Arcane is just running around at the moment, but now his Chen form's going to get popped again and it's two tanks but that was a fantastic engagement from negative synergy taking out three players possibly even four here mike yeah the stitches is going down that is a four four wipe and i can see here they're not going to worry about uh going back to the shrine just yet they're going to help with their uh two mercenary waves pushing in the top and bottom hey I mean, that is oh, man so that this is this is this is, it. this is massive for negative synergy right now the momentum they've shown in this game they've just they've just Multiplied it They might even fold. go for core here, and it looks like he's going to push can, him yeah. into it. And ladies and gentlemen, we might see them take a, a game advantage and be one game away from getting 8,000 USD. Oh, great Storm Shield there to minimize any kind of damage. And Jim Jam's work is well cut out for him. Doesn't, the Storm Shield Gee. doesn't matter at that stage. <laughs> doesn't matter. It's awful looks, and that's Fat it. Fat loots for everybody. Oh, fresh. Not so in that game. Fresh gaming. Fantastic <laughs> job from Negative Synergy there. We questioned the uh, the Chen pick, and I think now for good reason because it just didn't have any effect. It just made they, he may as well have not rocked up. It's like Chen, just go to the bottom <laughs> lane and just soak experience, mate. We'll just go down there. Yeah, it's and it's it's just 
you know, it doesn't matter how good of a player you are, it's just the state of Chen. Yeah. You know, he just didn't really have an effect. You know, I thought maybe the Wandering Barrow would have been a better choice. It would have disrupted negative synergy in their fights. But they end up going with Panda Powers, which I think the... you got to learn the real name for that, Call of the Elements. Yeah. <laughs> um, Call of the Elements, it's, it's good in a lot of different situations, but that one, I think they're trying to use it more for body blocking with the stitches, hook in, lots of bodies, block them around, keep them engaged. It's a lot of damage naturally itself as well, but it didn't pay off. Yeah. It's, <coughs> it's, it was very brave of them. It, they, it's just a very brave pick. Yeah. And, and negative synergy just took it. And what, how do you kill three members of the enemy team? Four how members. Do, sorry, four, four members, members of the enemy team. And then fail to pick up the Punisher when you've already started wipe it, like clearing the uh, skeletons. Only Fresh Gaming knows that. It's and I mean, they've had some really unorthodox picks. Yeah. So like a lot of their strategies, they even went back in time mm. to get an Abatha and Illidan pick in some of their games. But and it, but that worked. Well that worked well. really well that, because that that's like a, a well-known good combo. But yeah. but Chen, oh god, I don't. All right, yeah, I'm done. Let's move on to the next game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ch uh, just four heroes dead. You didn't get the Punisher. And it was an arcane Punisher as well. It was like a juicy one. Yeah. It, it was, wasn't a mortar. It was it the one that you wanted. The one that you needed for it. Yeah. Okay. You're now fresh gaming. Yeah. You're one game away from elimination. Mm. You're not going to Korea. What are you thinking? What's going through your head and what's your next step? All right, it's not the pick Chen. <laughs> he's, he's removed in fact no I, more barrel boys I would think about no more barrel roll I said, right, Fresh this is what Fresh is going to do next game their first ban is going to be Chen so they don't take it just to be safe <laughs> now what Fresh actually should be thinking now they need to go for maybe a bit more of a traditional comp they're a very skilled team they're playing very well but they're just making silly decisions and I think it's based totally off their team composition they had Chen what if they had a more stable what if they had the Sonya that they banned they banned, first, yeah. they banned the Sonya. What if they took the Sonya instead? That's so much follow-up damage they could have been doing back to negative synergy. In fact, Sonya around those camps, uh, sorry, around the objectives on Infernal Shrines does an amazing job of harvesting the skulls because of her whirlwind. Yeah. Uh, even in the lane, she has a great laning phase. She's a little bit punishing against Faustad if she can get to the back line. And even Li Ming, who's a great assassin... Mm can struggle on Infernal Shrines yep. because of all the minions that spawn. They In block path, the damage. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They block the damage. And I mean, it's great when you disintegrate because you disintegrate everything, but they block your skill shot of your, missile, yep. your uh, magic missiles. They s uh, yep. block your arcane orb. So it's like, mm. you know, why? Why yeah. pick Li Ming and then pretty much no other damage behind yeah. it? Just Especially lots of tanks. I mean, we didn't talk about much in that game either, but if you look at the talent build, that our Li Ming went, she decided to take the level 4 talent that reduces the cooldown of the Arcane Orb when it hits an enemy hero. What we were just talking about. So hard to hit the enemy hero when there's minions in the way, when there's skulls in the way. But anyway, let's move on from that because we are into the uh, next draft. It will be on Cursed Hollow and this is... Oh, Ban's already gone off from Negative Synergy, removing Avatar from the mix. I think we saw that early actually. First, uh, first Ban as well in the last game with Avatar. And again, because he has such great potential on this map. Cursed yeah. Hollow, he can get the soak in the bottom lane, body soaking. So it's definitely a pretty good first band. Leeming, fresh play Leeming, the side that's removal right now. And again, she's good damage, pretty good first band. Negative Sydney, the Sashin taking the Zera tool. We've just seen incredible, that. for those just joining, we've seen pretty much Negative Synergy's way of playing is they want to control the yeah. fights. So the way they control the fights is a lot of zone control. So heroes such as Zeratul, they play a bit of ETC, mm. they play a lot of Malfurion as well, and they go for the a increased roots Falstad, as well, yeah. and a lot of Falstad. So all of it is about picking the fights that you want to take. It's not so much about huge burst, yep. but you pick one and then you reset, or you have a bad like a bad positioning, and then you disengage and then re-engage on your terms. Yeah. You know, doing a very, a very good job of that. And the Void Prison is going to help a lot with Zero Tool on that one. Thrall being picked up by Fresh. Great damage dealer. We might be potentially looking at a Diablo or Rhaegar pick. Obviously Rhaegar coming into this shadow there. It's Cursed Hollow. We've only seen this once today. And still no ETC on this map. Yeah, ETC can be pretty good on this map. Because of the uh, fighting in the sort of corridor and uh, choke points. And you know, fighting and finally the enemy in those sort of points. Yep. So we can see them. However, we see a lot of teams favoring more the... Uh, 
favoring Diablo, favoring even Johanna. Yeah, over yeah, picking up that's e true. ETC, and I guess they're just not looking for that. Um, not looking for Mosh Pit to be their only play. You know, we go and get a big Mosh Pit and win fights. And that was kind of fresh as last time. It was all about yeah. the big Wombos. It's yeah. like, how do we get this huge Wombo combo off? Exactly. And the, but that's not Negative Synergy's way of playing. So no. that's why we haven't seen a lot of ETC out of them. Because that's not their style. Their style is control the objective, control the flow of the game, control the map. Less about trying to take out big fights. Get a poke, get a pick. But... They're not concerned about doing big five-man wipes. Yeah, and now it's funny how it seems like it's changed again. So beforehand, Negative Synergy had a 1-0 lead coming from the upper bracket finals. Yeah. Then they lost their first game against Fresh, mm. and it was 1-1. And the last one that we saw, they took ages with their time pool. They yeah. used it all the way. But now it feels like the momentum's back for Negative Synergy. They feel confident again, and they know what kind of strategy they want to yeah. play for this map. Well, that's it. Look at that. They've got the Zero Tool. They've got the Faustad. They've got the Diablo. Three heroes that they've had all most of the day, and they've been devastating on. So it looks like they're pretty much getting the picks they want. We got what fresh ban now. Booth is still available for them to actually pick up should they choose it as well. Might go for Mouth though. Oh, it's Zagara. That's actually a pretty good ban. A little bit late. Very good on this map. Yeah. Because they, they've they've removed two really strong map presence. Sorry. Um, laning options in this game. Removed Avastar, removed Stitches. Guys. Stitches. <laughs> Alrighty, Stitches wants to play. Yeah. It's funny, I guess because we didn't used to see that much Stitches because like a little bit ago, the meta was much more dive comp. And what's the point of having you hook someone when they're like, thanks for bringing me closer to you so I can then dive comp you. Hmm. Whereas now it seems to be much more about zone control and taking objectives and it's much more about the objective based play. Yeah. What do you think about the Rainer here though? Uh, the rain is potentially good. It depends what they're trying to um, they're trying to stop Mega Synergy going into. What do you think uh, they're trying to mitigate? Well, it's possibly into a double warrior. Mega Synergy could potentially pick up Sonya. I mean, they could go Sonya Uther here. Um, I don't think from what we've seen of them today, they may not, but that's still an option. Uh, Uther could still be a good pickup here for Negative Synergy. But I've got a feeling we might see Malfurion, actually. They've been pretty, pretty Favoring happy with... Malfurion. Yeah, yeah, and Dasperts has been playing a really good Malfurion. <laughs> Let me go speak, of, go speak of the, the devil, devil, and he shall appear. And Greymane. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I really like that. that. Actually, that lineup is really nice coming out of negative synergy. Great great range poke, great dive poke. Uh, Zero Tool and Greymane, it's they're kind of together. They don't get in each other's way because they're both that. Zero Tool can go in, do a bit of damage, get out when things look bad. And then immediately have Greymane follow up after initial poking to help Zero Tool try and secure the kill. Yeah, most definitely. So I really like that. Um, the Rainer pick, he is a strong character. Great zoning with Hyperion. I don't know if I would have necessarily chosen him going up against this. He does have very good sustain, however. So he knows that if he does get uh, targeted by Diablo or Zero Tool, he does try and get something done. I mean, it's, it's a pretty hard lineup to go in against Rainer. Here we go, we might be seeing a pretty hefty front line mm. for Fresh. I don't know if Rainer really has that kind of mage damage though. It's not a Li Ming, not a KT, and not a Jaina. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be getting, hoping Thrall does all their burst damage. Just um, from the best of his abilities, Stitches can get the hook in, Thrall... Sonya's still open. Yeah, that's actually very true, Sonya's still on the board. And that would, I think would actually be a pretty good lineup. But Murden, Avatar into the Rhaegar Storm Shield. Uh, he's actually slow, going Thunderclap build to slow down the Greymane when he yep. does dive in. Uh, potentially be a little bit of a game changer. Even Faustad. Uh, Faustad is an auto attack character as well. So jumping in on him and getting a Thunderclap would be um, quite a little, little bit, a little bit of effective yeah. as well. I guess there is a lot of right click damage yeah. from uh, negative synergy. It's, it's, I think it's a lot against that Greymane taking the uh, Thunderclap build. Okay, and the, the peel as well for the, uh, the Stormbolt as well. Yeah, that's it. That's okay. uh, Especially, you know, that Stitches hooks someone in and then you hook with a stun from Muradin. Or what you can do as well is, like, if the team starts to try and, like, converge on that hero to save them, you just peel off them with a, yeah. with a Stormbolt as well. Yeah, that's it. So Muradin, a um, fairly solid choice. He's, I'd say Muradin's got the advantage of he's not... He's not a bad hero, and he's not. He he's has no disadvantages at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did see a real slight nerf to his avatar. No longer has a mini stun when he hit. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, oh, that was so so <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> but being removed, however, 
he's he's just he's lost that effectiveness, but he's still a good hero. He yeah. still doesn't have any disadvantages. No. He, so he's a tank. He's a tank. What do they do? He stuns heroes. He slows down their attack speed, and he's really hard to kill. Gee, that's a pretty good three ticks there. Sounds pretty good yeah. to me. Oh, once long ago, he used to uh, auto attack stun as well in Avatar. It's like, oh, I see why that's been removed. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So this could be the final game <laughs> of today. This could be it. We're Jeez. seeing a much more standard lineup from Fresh. Yeah, They've uh, decided that they're not going to go for Chen Plus. <laughs> <laughs> they're not doing anything too crazy. Like, even their first if game. If you're going to try it, that's fine. <laughs> not in the grand final. It was, a sh it was a surprising pick, that's for sure. <laughs> but we'll see what Fresh can do in here. They are fighting to keep their championship dreams alive. Yeah. They're losing this match does mean that they are... 2-1 out. at the moment. Negative yep. Synergy's way. This is it. Lend them your energy. Let us know in the chat who you want to win. We've got Negative Synergy. And we've got Fresh yep. Gaming. Fresh Gaming's uh, the Do gaming you like logo? the Fresh Styles it's of a lettuce. Uh, Fresh Gaming? Or would you prefer the disproportional and negative synergy from Team Synergy. <laughs> That's right. Well, also, Fresh Gaming's logo, it's a lettuce, and it says never give up. And that's what they've shown in today's game. So here they we have, are. actually. They are in the grand finals. They've secured themselves at least 6,000 US dollars. That's it. But they want more than that, and they know that they're better than that, and they can get to the grand finals, and they can win it even. And now... On our right-hand side, we have this team, Fresh Gaming. We've got Arcana, it seems to be on the Muradin. We've got Jim Jam on that Rainer. We've got Steve-O on the Thrall. We've got New on that there, Stitches, and Eternal Nyx on the Raid. All right, on the, now, on the other side of the map, in blue, it is a negative synergy. Ninja's on Falstad. Das Burtz is Malfurion. Zashin is Zeratul. Robodoba is Diablo. And a grey main is the Benjamin. Oh, looks like we've actually got a kind of engagement down here at the bottom. Ninja doing a lot of damage, but he's going to get chipped down to about two-thirds health. Looks like it'll all return to normal. Could have been a bit of a fight, but doesn't look like that way, Mike. Yeah, no, nah, front line there with the I don't see too much of a... Uh, Anyone dying or him dying that's there. Sashin did decide to uh, back out on our Zeratul. Well, actually, he's coming in here, but uh, it's, too, it's too early in the game for our Zeratul to have such an impact. Yeah, interesting that they're both abandoning one lane. Thrall now coming to that top, and there's a big rotation from the bottom. Sashin actually revealing himself, though. A good player will be able to see it, but there's a lot of damage, but they're just going to push him out of the lane, and a lot of rotates. Yeah, that's it. I mean, they just want to scare Meriden right now. They just want to get him out of the lane so he's not soaking. They can get a little bit of a head in the soak as well. And then, you know, if they get a kill, awesome, but they're really just trying to track now. Yeah, it looks like the session's going to go back to roaming around. Uh, everything pretty standard. Like you were saying, though, Muradin actually does go for that Thunderclap build, so he's going to be that counter pick yep. to Greyman. Yeah, definitely. Reverberation. It's well, a uh, lot of damage, though. I mean, they got three heroes in the bottom lane just wailing on that tower. they got three in the mid, but they're not really having the same effect. They're just freezing the lane and taking the mm. experience. But, like, I mean, negative synergy, about to pull to a little bit of a lead. They're about yeah. to hit that level three just before them. Not too big of a deal as that first mm. talent will be on level four, though. Oh, look at that, Steve. I want to do something. Want to do something against Grey Main Benjamin in the top lane, but we are back in the mid. And we just see that, you know, Fresh just doesn't have a uh, big lane clearing comp like uh, Negative Synergy does. Negative yeah. Synergy can do a much better job of clearing up those lanes than Fresh. Yeah, they don't really have much of it at all. I mean, I guess Thunderclap is pretty weak against it. You've got Thrall with the, uh, mm. with the Chain Lightning, but he actually went for Block, funny enough. So, kind of a defensive Thrall build rather than going for that poke that you are talking about. Yeah, that's sort of an interesting one. I guess he's a little bit uh, concerned about uh, Zero to a possibly Greymane diving onto him. It is a very high auto attack composition here from Negative Synergy. Yep. So the block's not a bad choice, but I would say a little bit surprising. Yeah, again with that Thunderclap as well. And uh, Reyna looks like he actually went for the heals first mm. and then for the focused attack. So he didn't go for Season Marksman for this game. Yeah, he's looking just to sustain himself. He's a little bit concerned about uh, basically being picked off by either Zero to the main. And that little bit of extra sustain possibly is going to be enough to keep him in the fights. Maybe a little bit of wasted damage if they do try to go for him. Yeah, that's right. But now it's going to be heating up as we get to this first objective now. The first tribute is spawning in the top part of the map. Robodoba just zoning a little bit at the moment. Dasbert's giving a heal. Great route there onto Thrall as well. Session getting back out. Jim Jam about 
three quarters health. Oh, a fantastic hook! Looks like he might actually be able to chip down Despots. Despots is running away as fast as he can. He does get the root off one, but doesn't look like they'll be able to sustain this as well. Steemo doesn't get, does get picked off. So is Robidoba. Oh, Benjamin94 getting tapped really low as well. And looks like Fresh, Ooh, they should be able to take that first objective. A little bit of chase on Ninja. Ooh. Oh, Zeratul actually dying as well sometime in the top lane. Yeah, so that was uh, quite a favorable fight there for uh, for Fresh there, Disconcord. Yeah, they just went to with that so much better than our Native Synergy did. And I guess they just focused their targets much better, really broke Native Synergy's line, and just mopped up in kills, even follow-up kills. I'm pretty sure Zeratul could have gotten away in the engagement, but just hung around too long yeah. and was punished for it. Not too bad. I mean, the experience kind of just evened up a little bit, but negative synergy, they are now one behind in that tribute. Not too much of a big deal, and everything kind of yeah. stabilizing back to normal here. Yeah, it was just a funny, a funny fight for negative synergy. But they are trying to get back into it, picking up some camps. Oh, look at this. This is actually an interesting play here by Fresh. So they haven't picked up the mercenary camp just yet. They are going to sit there and wait for the next tribute to spawn. So it gives that decision. Now, the positioning of the tribute, however, it's not pretty the best close, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's just going to headbutt into that as well. So they're going to probably it. try and clear out that mid lane to get their own lane pushing. Mm. But uh, it actually does give time for negative synergy to set up, and that's what they're going to do. Looks like they'll just give it up. Fresh Gaming are going to give this up. Yep. Uh, looks like yeah, Ninja won't get. Sorry, Sashin won't get <gasps> chipped away here. They're going to go for Nyx a little bit, not too much damage, but. Uh, Oh, Fresh behind looks like this. Look at yeah. the top lane. Fresh here. We've got Thrall. We've got Murder. They're actually destroying the towers in the top one. That, and that's what's giving their experience lead right now. And while the rest of the negative synergy kind of sits around here. Message Grey Mane has eventually come up, but it's going to be a bit too late. Both towers have been taken out. Yeah, Bostad getting hit a little bit by Jim Jam. Ninja should be able to do enough. Oh, and Sashin's going to get some hits off on him. Just wants to kind of pop that as well if he can. Yeah. Doesn't actually manage to, though. W wants to try and put that on cooldown if he can. Yeah, that's it. Putting that E on cooldown. Just down. underneath. And we're going to see... Uh, look at that. Stitch is looking, trying to find a target. He wants to hook someone. But there's just no one around to either support him or any good targets to grab either. And he's just repositioning himself now. Will he start the Merc camp? There's been a call. The go do it, but the tribute has spawned. So we'll have to put that on hold. So they fight out this for each team to try and grab their second tribute. Yeah, there's a lot of options for the teams they can actually give... Oh, actually does manage to get that Mercs just before the uh, the camp starts. Oh, they're going to go down on Jim Jam as well. Jim Jam getting absolutely chunked away. Managed to get him. Oh, so close. New almost made a new friend there. <laughs> but uh, they might be able to get this tribute. Despots, great Moonfire there denying that. And here comes Falstad at the top. Going to blow up Arcana at the moment. Does manage to get the Q off there as well. Sashin coming around the back. He's going to slash all of them. Doing a lot of damage. Is he going to get Arcana? They managed to take him down as well. And suddenly, that's two for nothing in negative synergy's favor. Yeah, that's it. I mean, Fresh took out the uh, last tribute so much cleaner. Well, the, sorry, the first one. But negative synergy have just started to be really, you know, come back into the Ooh, game now. Stitches in the mid lane by himself. There's a lot of heroes around him. Oh, oh <laughs> Sashin. <laughs> He's going to blink out of there. Yeah, that could have that put a little bit of uh, pressure underneath Zero Tools Caller if he has one. But now, negative synergy are in a superior superior position. They've got their level 10 beforehand, and more than anything, they're only one tribute away from cursing yeah. the other team. I mean, Fresh pretty much immediately hit level 10 as well, so there's not too much advantage for negative synergy right now. But just in the way of pressure, Falstad's in the bot lane, putting a lot of pressure on that bottom. But on there, a set of minions are coming as well, so he's going to be able to continue even more damaging it. And look at that. that oh, right next to Falstad. <laughs> yeah, Falstad will take this, he says. <laughs> oh, he's got to watch out that he doesn't actually get hooked. So they're all coming down yep. at the moment. There's about five seconds. Looks like they Oh, a great he's Mighty Gust to try and push him away. Might have, like, pulled the trigger a little bit early, though. But Das Pertz is going to start channeling that straight away. And Arcana, I'm sorry, Sashin's also going to have that Void Prism if he needs to do that. Ninja actually does get hit. He still has the Void Prism should he need it as well. steve going to get a big Sunder on there as well. Not actually doing that much damage. Benjamin94 wants to go in, but they're really choked up at the moment. It looks like they want to disengage. A great Roots there to make sure they've got zone control there, Mike. Now it's just distraction, right? Neither synergy just wanted to sort of draw it's time to boss to boss. More. Yeah, that's it. Boss to boss, as we call it, was when you curse the other team, you can successfully do your boss, mm. and then once the other ones start, you can go do their boss as well. And it's just this is where mm. Cursed Hollows starts to really oh, Cursed Hollows starts to uh, snowball a little bit. 
Yeah, but you see there, Fresh is trying to position themselves as well. Get enough heroes there to start doing Get their own boss as well. They don't want to have to deal with this double boss situation. That could prove a bit disastrous for them. I this don't could know. be the throw pit. This yeah. could be the throw pit, ladies and gentlemen. They could actually go up, and it looks like Ninja wants to see what's up. He sees what's up. He sees that it's only on about a third health, yeah. and they might actually be able to get this boss for free. It's really close. Ninja's taking a lot of damage, but here comes a slam. He doesn't actually get any of them at the moment, but now it's all going to be over this objective here. He's going to take it. Oh, a massive lightning breath on so many of them doing heaps of damage. Jim Jam still staying, but he gets pushed off. He's going to get crushed, and that's a double boss. Sasha, he's going to be taken. This could be the last game of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, Ninja with a oh. great burst as well. He's going to slow Steve-O. Steve-O gets picked. There's only two heroes alive now for Fresh Gaming here, Mike. Yeah, that is that is why the boss is called the Throw Pit. That was such a detrimental idea by Fresh. They, I didn't think they'd have the damage, and they didn't fall. The, you know, Falstead came in, and they got scared. They actually backed off. They possibly could have turned around and maybe even popped Falstead. He's not that. Uh, he's a bit of a fragile hero in his own right. Yeah. But that was such a. Both boss, bosses are still up at the moment yeah. as well. There goes one keep. We might even see the bottom keep going down as well. Doesn't look like it in this stage. But they're going to take so much map control yeah. from here. Just concur. Oh, this is three level difference. Uh, you know, talent advantage as well. Uh, negative synergy are just so are poised so well to win this game. Yeah. I can't just... think of a way. Like, Fresh can come back with soaking, getting off picks and stuff. But that's going to be so demoralizing right now. Like, so look at even that. Stitches. Thinks I might get someone and pulls across the siege giant. <laughs> it's funny actually that the towers don't fire or anything. Just go straight back to its position. But uh, well, I've actually seen uh, teams use it as a way to deny the uh -huh. um, siege <laughs> siege camps. Pull the siege giant <laughs> into your cute. base and. <laughs> but just having a look at the map, there's just so much blue everywhere, and that's really reflective of this game state at this stage yeah. here, Mike. Well, that's all pressure. I mean, Negative Synergy in such a commanding lead right now. I mean, they can have these camps, they can be looking for these five Look at the There we go. Future Vile trying to do here. it, but he can run straight into the roots. Ninja's going to blow him up as well, should he need to. There goes New. Oh, a great Void Prism isolating two of them. He's going to Hyperion over the top, but he can actually Hero. run around and going to mighty burst. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, he actually gets him before it goes off. Jim Jam getting pretty low. And then a lightning breath on top of it as well. Steve Sunder doesn't quite do enough. And it's already a two hero pick here, Mike. Yeah, look, the, the, the tribute spawn. They can just don't even care at the moment. Nope. They can go in there, take this keep. It's 11 minutes into the game. Two keeps are down. Negative synergy is three levels advantage. Soon to be level 16. Possibly, no, oh, there won't be double talent for too long, but they could be double talent ahead of Fresh. Yeah, and it's just they're playing their game. They're playing the game of zone control, yeah. and they've just done it so phenomenally well this game. They've made sure, especially with the Faust, oh sorry, not with the Faust tab, with the uh, Malfurion's roots, always making sure to zone in those smaller corridors mm. and angles, and they're just playing this absolutely phenomenally. Oh, they just got they just got some really good picks off, some really good players against Fresh, and Fresh just. They just haven't responded to Negative Synergy in the best way. They've made silly decisions. I mean, that the biggest the biggest point of this game was that pit. Yeah, that, it that, was the boss pit. And I think yeah. that comes down to I always kind of it's a, a bit of a mantra. It's like four players doing sorry four players doing the right thing and one doing the wrong yeah. is worse than four players five players doing the wrong thing but doing it all together and yeah. just doing it. And so, I mean, it was kind of like a half committal to it. There was only like three yeah. heroes chipping it down, and then, lo and behold, in comes the yeah. other enemy team because you haven't done enough damage and you haven't yeah. finished was, your meal. It was so hard against, you know, hard from them because they were cursed at the time. So they really need to defend, defeat the boss in the bottom lane, and then rotate up and just deal with the second boss, you know? Yeah. Not try and get one, just deal with it. Most definitely. So it looks like they're going to be just one talent behind at this stage. They're going to have the 16 talents compared to just the 13 talents. But, uh,. Here we go for the objective as well, and there's just so much potential. Ninja is perfectly positioned for a phenomenal Mighty Gust. And there we go, getting two of them, pushing them away and slowing them, and giving Dasperts the opportunity to... Just buying time. Yeah, just buying time. And Robodoba, I love how he's positioned here. He's made sure that if anyone gets hooked, it'll be him. And yeah. Fresh Gaming, they're coming a, a, a part at the they're seams a little bit here. They are not so fresh anymore. No. <laughs> Reeking of stale cheese at the moment. Alright, so they know Sash is there, Ooh, but look great at that. Blink. 
So, Mike, what do you do? You're fresh gaming. This is your last lifeline. How do you make a play here? This might actually be it. It might be the hypothetical, but it's not. A huge lightning breath as well. Sunder as well to go down. There's just not that much damage. Jim Jam gets healed back to full, but they haven't actually killed anyone on negative synergy. Then now there's a great push away from it as well. They've isolated two here. They're going to blow up the Rhaegar and the Rainer. Great roots on top of that as well. That's three down already. There's only two heroes left yep. for it, and they might even just go for core. There's a huge wave push down the bottom. That's so many catapults here. Playing. That is that is what they what you do is not what Fresh just did. Even at a you know, five to four hero advantage, that disadvantage, it wasn't enough. Not against this level difference. Not against the talent. Not against three. Ladies levels. and gentlemen, we might and have a winner. This might be it here for the ANZ Season One Grand Finals. Negative Synergy look like they will be the team who go through to Korea, and they are huge congratulations. A phenomenal effort by Negative Synergy. They take out the Grand Finals 3-1, yeah. secure themselves $8,000 USD. That is a Negative Synergy are the Season 1 ANZ Champions, proving that they are the best in our region. And it just the way they executed that game was just 